Right, we got a UFC event here in Vancouver uh, this weekend here with uh, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. Um, Donald, you say you've been to Vancouver before. What are your impressions of the city? It's good. I love it. It's more kind of like the Colorado vibe that I'm used to, you know, the mountains and the fishing and the laid back. Yeah. Does it matter to you where you fight? No. I, I like traveling, so uh, seeing the world, seeing all different kind of cultures, and that's what I enjoy the most. You've been at this a long time. I, I look at, uh, you know, in the years that I've been following UFC, you look at some of the names that have fallen by the wayside. You know, even even big names like Conor McGregor, sure. who just become this larger than life, and then, you know, a couple of years later, they're not there. You're still here. Why? <laughs> oh, man, the old train's still running strong, so just keep chugging along. So, in one of these other tours through Vancouver, guy who's no longer in the UFC, but a uh, local guy, Rory McDonald, I asked him when he came through these uh, through the newsroom um, what his favorite part of uh, the fight game was. And he said, when the door closes in the octagon. And I asked him what the worst part was, and he said, when the door closes sure. in the octagon. Do you relate with that? Oh, of course, yeah. There's so much build-up and animosity and preparation goes into it and then they close the door and you're like oh man it's here it's time so, yeah I'm with them so how much has experience help you with that now oh yeah for sure just you now I've been I've been I felt that so many times now you know um, yeah pretty cool they say father times undefeated but you still seem like you love it I don't let the old man in so, yeah. <laughs> how much longer can you do this Tell the UFC says, listen, man, we can't allow you to walk out with a walker. So you have to, you got to stop. That does seem to be part of your success is that you really enjoy this. There are other people who maybe do it for the, the fortune and the fame. But you, whenever they have asked for someone to step up, it's you've never said no. Why is that? Oh, I can't tell you. I'm the man that will fight anyone anywhere and then be the guy in the same breath. Nah, except for that guy or except that time. So I just... Live by a code, man, and that's what I do. How how do you see your future? Do you look one, two, three years down the road, or is it just literally fight to fight? <laughs> it's day to day, brother. Not even fight to fight. It's what the hell am I doing today? So uh, yeah, I I want to say I got five, six more years left in this game. We'll see. Well, and do you have thoughts of what to do after that? I'm gonna be a movie star. <laughs> <laughs> I think there might be a market for that. Um, so let's talk about the fight this weekend. Um, what you know, looking at your opponent, what are you expecting here? Fireworks. He's gonna come running forward and stand in the middle and throw down. That's kind of his his uh, only way he knows how to fight. And why? Like, why do you? Um, why do you think? Obviously, you think you're gonna be successful. How does that match up with your style? You look forward to those fights. I know where it's all action. Yeah, I'm a really good counter fighter. So um, him bringing the pace forward. Allows for perfect opportunity for me to counter and uh, look for the knockout. Your thoughts on the UFC in general and where the sport is right now? Obviously, you had the big change in ownership. Um, a lot of the big names are still there, but as I say, you've been here for a long time. You've been through a lot of changes. Change and you're really constant. Hard. Yeah. yeah uh, man, it's, they pay my bills just fine on time, so I got nothing bad to say. Do you see it? Uh, trending higher though I know we've seen like the ESP every deal. weekend now aren't they man they're yeah. cranking out just like a every weekend is a thing it's kind of hard I remember when I first started it was they had like two pay-per-views a year every six months and uh, now man they got one every weekend so it's cool it's growing very fast um, if we, you look back on your career a little bit I know you say you've got a, a lot to look forward to but just while we have you here do you have a most memorable fight a favorite fight a favorite moment Oh, yeah, probably in Denver setting the record for the most wins in UFC history and bringing my boy in to the cage is cool. It's probably my favorite moment. Do you have any regrets? Nah. Nah. I don't regret much. Just rip it. Just shrug it out like, eh, probably right. Bad idea. Keep it moving. Didn't think so. You're wearing a black hat, but that doesn't really seem to be to fit with your personality. You're a fan favorite, a good guy. Uh, yeah, it's like a fancy dress. It's just like etiquette, kind of like uh, you can't wear white pants anymore because we're after Labor Day. Do you guys do that in Canada? Supposed to, yeah. To, yeah, so it's kind of like it's fall, so you wear a black hat or awesome. a fancy dress or interviews. 
<laughs> well, thanks for coming in. Uh, best of luck this weekend. I know the fans can expect a great fight. One of the best personalities in the UFC in, uh, in pro sports, actually. So thank you for stopping by. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it.